Hi, I'm Joy, and this is my channel, Yoga with Joy. Welcome. So this is day 26 of our moon series, 30 days following the moon cycle, from dark moon right through the waxing moon to full moon, and then down through the waning moon to the following dark moon. So yeah, it's been a fantastic journey. We're still in the water. We're going to start moving to Earth soon, but we're, we're in water. It's still feeling a bit watery. And there's some nice held postures as well. And remember, if you're following your menstrual cycle, then you're in your premenstrual, wise woman, autumn phase. And just enjoy it and really feel, really feeling. Okay, so grab a mat and anything you need, and I'll see you in a moment. Start and seated. <sighs> so with your eyes closed, centering into this posture, relaxing into being here now. This moment, this moment on the mat. And bring your awareness to your breath. Gently deepening your inhale. Noticing the expansion of your torso as you breathe in and lengthening your exhale. Feeling the torso gently relax as you breathe out. And with the in breath, there's a lengthening right from the base of the spine to the crown of the head. And with the exhale, a softening of the brow, jaw, back of the neck, shoulders, arms, hands. With the breath, there's a flow like water. Feeling the gentle water-like movement as you breathe in and space is created between your vertebrae. As you breathe out, there's a softening. Almost imagine like you're in water. Fluid, gently moving. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. We'll begin by looking over the shoulder to one side, exhale and inhale forwards and over to the other side. Very softly waking up the neck, keeping your shoulders nice and loose, relaxed. One more time on either side. And back to center, lovely. That's great. And gently drop the left ear to the left shoulder, keep it nice and relaxed so your 
Shoulders dropping away from the ear. Inhale up, over to the other side. Inhale up. And we'll take circles, just a couple each way, with the nose looking down and circling the nose round. Make your circle smaller if it's too much on the back of the neck. Gentle, soft breaths. Letting breath guide your movement. Lovely. So moving the other direction if you haven't already, I did that quietly. You'll notice that if you follow my practice, when I'm around my the neck, I find it difficult to talk. So bringing the head back up. And then we'll start very gently to move into the seated cat. So exhale forward. Inhale up. Focusing on the shoulders. Just a couple more times. Exhale forward. Inhale up. One more. Exhale forward. Inhale up. Lovely. That's great. Okay, so we'll bring the arms out. With the palms up. Forward, down, back, down, forward, up, forward, down, back, down, forward, up, forward, down, back, down, forward, up, and reaching up, tucking your abdomen, and turning the palms away with your fingers together, stretching out the shoulders, the arms, stretching out through your spine, deep breaths. And exhale, bring the hands forward. And reaching up again. And bring the hands down. Clasp the hands behind and open up the chest. A few deep breaths. That's lovely. Softening down. And then bringing the shoulders around into some rotations forward. And then backwards. That's lovely. Great. And then place the left hand down and the right hand up, coming over into side stretch. Gentle, deep breaths. And really breathe into the right side of the body. And then bring the hand down. You might be staying up here or you might be coming down further. Taking a rotation around here. Coming around the waist. And then lifting up. One more time round. And then up. And side stretch to the other side. Breathing into the left side of the body. You can always open slightly with the Arm above, opening your shoulder up. And then gently move the hand down and take a couple of rotations around. And then up 
and over. And bringing yourself up and then placing the hands down. Great. So the hands can go behind, bring the knees up and have a little rock. That's because we've been sitting for quite a while now. And then the knees back to centre. We'll focus on the right leg. So we're going to place the left hand down, rest on the, um, the left hip, and we're going to circle around the right hip here, taking some rotations one way and the other way. Fabulous. And then placing the right leg down, taking hold of the back of your thigh, the back of your leg here. It's going to lift up and down the knee. So you're bending and straightening the knee, lift up and down the foot is what I mean. <laughs> and then I'm going to circle the knee, being careful of your knee if you have any knee issues. Going one way, then the other way. That's fantastic. And then we'll rotate the foot around so you're rotating the ankle, going one way, and then the other way. That's great. Okay, and then we'll point and flex the foot. Lovely, that's great. Okay, so we're going to come to the other side, place the right hand down and the left leg is up, rotating the hip joint, moving your leg around. Going in one direction, then the other. <laughs> Might be making all sorts of funny noises. <laughs> and go as slowly as you need to. Remember, this is your practice because you know your body. <sighs> Hands behind the thigh, and we're just going to point. We'll just lift up and down. <sighs> Bend and straighten the knee. And then taking a few circles, making sure it's okay with your knee. That's great. And then the other way. Fantastic. And then a little rest. And then we can rotate the foot, rotating the ankle. Going in one direction, then the other. And then point and flex the foot. Good. And release down. That's nice. Okay, let's just have a little shake out of the feet and the legs. Wonderful. Okay, so we'll release whatever we're sitting on, put that back. Let's come on to all fours, just to start here. And we'll take a bit of a flowing cat. So inhaling up, exhaling down. Remember your hands are below your shoulders and the knees below the hips. Inhale up, exhale back, lifting up pelvic floor and belly as you do that. Great. Nice, deep, strong breaths. 
and then in there, then bring yourself up, place your hands forward a little bit, turn around your toes, exhale back into half downward dog, lift up into an acute dog, right up on tiptoes, exhale down, walking at your heels. Stretching out the back of the legs. It's amazing how you could do this like every day and it'll still, it'll still be stiff. <laughs> okay, wow. <sighs> Holding your downward dog for a little bit, maybe a breath. And then lift up the right leg, three-legged dog. And then bring it through. And we'll come through either into a high lunge or a low lunge. So it's fine if you want to be low here. Otherwise you can come up high. And this time we're going to bend the back knee. So we're going to have a bit of a different lunge with the bent back knee here. Knee over ankle at the front. Lift up the front toes and soften them down. Hands at the heart. Let's bring the arms out to the side with bent elbows. So you've got a right angle with your arms. The upper arms are in line with the floor, the mat. Looking straight ahead, thinking of our crescent moon. Soft shoulders and face. And then the hands together. Then hands down to the heart. Lovely. Coming down. Inhale up in the low lunge, looking up. And let's take one stretch back and we'll hold the foot. So we're going to have a held hamstring stretch. Exhale. Inhale and exhale. Breath in. And then bringing the right knee in line with the left knee hip width apart. And back into cat. That's lovely. Okay, so we'll come down into our puppy pose spine stretch here. a few deep breaths and then start to move back up and turn the toes round and coming back into downward facing dog full breath in dog and then inhale the left Foot up, so you're on three-legged dog, you've got square hips. Exhale through your left leg and you're coming up into high or low lunge. Bend the back, back leg. So it's a strong quad stretch. Hands at the heart to begin with. Knees over ankle, lift up the front toes, soften them down. Coming into the right angle arms. Palms facing forward, soft shoulders face, crescent, think of our crescent moon. And then bringing the arms together and then the hands coming down to the heart. And then lowering down, lowering, down, lowering the right knee down. Stretching forward in the low lunge. And then exhale back in the held hamstring stretch. Ah, oh, just a couple of deep breaths. And then bring your knees to meet each other. Hip width and then down. And just seated for a moment. And then we'll slowly bring ourselves 
down onto the mat. And rest here for a moment in Shavasana. And this is where we're gonna use the strap if you have one, if you haven't, don't worry, you don't really need one. Um, you could also use a scarf or a belt, but you can just use your hands. It's just a bit easier with the strap. So for the beginning, the first one, you could bend your left leg as well, but the others you kind of, or mostly you need your leg straight. So I'm gonna have my leg straight, my left leg. I'm gonna bring up my right leg and I'm going to come into hamstring stretch. So it's a little sequence that deals with your, the hands, the back of the legs, opening up into a hip stretch and then over into a twist. It's the Hasta Padangustasana sequence, the Supta Hasta Padangustasana. So, breathing the leg in towards you. Inhale, exhale. Really enjoying this strong stretch of the leg. And then bring the strap, if you're using it in your right hand, and opening up your leg so your hip is opening. I'll move over a little bit because I've got all the wall in the way. And you're placing your left hand down to keep the left hip down. Now, if you're noticing the hip is rising up, that means your leg's too far down. So it depends on hip flexibility. Steady, deep breaths. Wonderful. And then bring your leg back up. I'm having to move a bit. Flexing your left foot. And up over into the twist. So the left hand, the straps in the left hand now, your right hand's over at the side, nice and straight looking and you start to look out over your right arm. And you only go as far as it feels comfortable in the twist. So it might be that you go right down to the floor, but it might be your leg is in the air, but it depends on the day, time of day and your own flexibility. So just go as far as feels okay right now with any of these. You can start to move back up after a little while in the twist. We're not staying in any of them that long. And then slowly bring the Leg in again, exhaling towards you, inhaling away. Lovely and release down. Now you can take a moment in Shavasana just to feel the difference between your legs. How are they? How is that for you? Now it's time to lift up the left leg. Place the strap over the instep of the left leg. You can flex your right leg now. And draw in the leg towards you. Exhale. <laughs> Deep breaths, lovely. Bring the strap into the left hand. Place your right hand on your hip. And then opening up. Your elbow can stop your leg going too far down because you won't want it to go too far because you've got to make sure that this right hand is keeping 
the right hip steady. Steady breaths. Slowly, the leg comes back up. Place the strap in the right hand and you're moving over. This is to the paravrita, the revolving twist over to the other side. Looking out over your left arm, making sure your twist is going just as far as comfortable. And again, your elbow can stop it going too far. So some nice deep breaths. And then back up to centre. Drawing the leg back in. Releasing your strap and your leg. And coming down into Shavasana, where you can rest and relax, make yourself nice and warm for this final relaxation. Steady, deep breath. Slow, relaxed breaths. Invite a gentle stillness into your body. Invite your whole body to relax. Your whole body can be at peace, resting here as the moon moves towards a dark phase. Feeling the quietness. Begin to come to the, the month. Feeling that quietness relax your body. And your whole body can rest. From your heart down to the soles of your feet and your hips to your hands, your crown of your head to your knees, feeling this gentle softness wash over you. The warmth of the water, maybe imagining a bath or a thermal pool, feeling yourself resting here. Your whole body can relax. I'll stay resting here. Or you can move over to the side. And then gently bring yourself back up 
to seated. Feeling your breath. Waking your body up from your gentle rest. Taking a few deep, full breaths. Being that lengthening from the base to the crown. And then hands in Anjali Mudra at the heart, closing with our OM vibration. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for joining me in this series. So lovely to have you here and loving your comments. And yeah, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Just click the subscribe button down below. And yeah, keep liking and commenting. It's really nice. And just, yeah, lots of love to you all. And see you tomorrow for day 27. <laughs> if you'd like to become a member of this channel, then you can just click the join button below and it will show you the exclusive membership perks. It'll be so lovely to have you on board. Namaste.